Hey guys, this week in science and writing, we're going to be doing some really fun activities about frogs. Where are my people that love frogs? Raise your hand, raise your hand. I know a few of you boys that really like frogs. Should I call out some names? Hmm. I know that there's some frog lovers in our classroom. I kind of tend to think about frogs like the story that we read earlier for reading. I don't want to be a frog. Frogs are kind of slimy, cold, and they're full of bugs. So, mm, I don't know if frogs are my favorite or not. But, I do think that frogs are super interesting. And this week, we're going to be learning a lot about frogs, their habitats, and a lot of cool other things about them. In this video, I'm going to be talking about your writing and science activities because they all are about the same topic. Frogs, toads, and amphibians, okay? So, what you're going to be doing for most of the week is learning about those things. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to watch a video about the life cycle of a frog. I have that listed for you down here on the science section for day one in the block on the blue sheet. Now, if you have a hard time locating that or using that um, link, you can always just go to YouTube and Google life cycle of a frog for kids and just search and find a few videos. There's lots of educational videos out there. Anyone will be just fine. Then for your writing that day, you're going to take this paper, which is a KWL chart. We do these all the time at school. And you're going to fill in each of the blanks. What you already know about frogs, what you wonder about frogs, and what you learn about frogs, okay? So any of those videos will be fine, and you can just fill in these three boxes, okay? With two sentences, two sentences, two sentences about each of those things, your KWL chart, okay? You're also going to be figuring out about the life cycle of a frog. And here you have a life cycle of a frog page that you're going to be using to write about. Okay, what you're going to do on this page is you're going to watch another video that you might find or you could go back and review the one from Monday, day one about the life cycle of the frog. You're going to color each of the stages from egg to tadpole to frog, and then you're going to write and describe each stage. So I want you to write two describing sentences here, two describing here, two describing here, and two describing here of what's happening to this frog, how it's changing, in every picture. Okay? You also have a picture of a frog that you can color and cut out um, for fun. Okay? The next day, you're going to need some scissors and a glue stick. And this time, you're going to be completing those stages of the life cycle of a frog not only by putting the pictures in the right order, but also by coloring the pictures and connecting the stages. Remember, your first stage is going to start at the top of your paper right in the middle. So what stage does the frog start in first? Hmm, I'm going to give you a hint. I think it's this stage, right? The adult frog? Hmm, no, is it this stage, the tadpole? No, I think it's this stage, the eggs. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna cut out the picture 
and the word, and you're going to need to match both of those things. The picture will go in the big box, and the word will go in the smaller one. So this is going to be two things that you separate when you cut. That's why we have the line here. So in your first box, you're going to have the picture of the eggs in the big box, and the word eggs in the smaller box. So the picture of the eggs and the word eggs. Then you'll go on to the next picture box. Remember, when we're completing a life cycle, we look at it like a clock. The clock goes from 12 to 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 to 6, 7 to 8 to 9 to 10, 11, back to 12. So it's going to flow this way. So this would be the first thing that happens, the second thing that happens, the third thing that happens, and the fourth thing that happens in the life cycle of the frog. All right, after completing that activity, you can use that to help you with your writing, okay? First, next, then, finally. Okay, and if you think about the pictures that you glued on this sheet, first, next, then, finally, you can use that to help you over here. On this one, you're going to draw in those pictures and they could look just like the one on the other sheet. And then you're going to write first what happened, next what happened, then what happened, and finally what happened. I want one good sentence beside each of those things to tell me about the life cycle of the frog. All right. You also have some writing pages to do about the frog, okay? You're going to write five facts on this page about frogs that you have learned. It could be from our story, it could be from a video that you watched, but five facts about frogs. You're gonna use this page for your rough draft, okay? That means that you're going to do your very best and then you're going to give it to your parents to fix. You know how I write on your paper with a marker or maybe I make a capital letter where you don't have one? Let them be the teacher. Let them fix your mistakes. Then you're going to take the other piece of paper that you have that looks just like it and you're going to rewrite your five sentences with no mistakes. All the mistakes will be fixed. You can look at your other paper to do that from that your family helped you with and you're gonna fix all your mistakes, okay? You also have a weekly reader this week and I do not have a color copy but I do have a copied one because we ran out but it is on Forest Helpers and this is a strange, strange little animal here. I've really never seen one of these before. He kind of looks like two different animals, but he is a forest helper. It says, have you ever heard of a taper? I've heard of one, but I don't think I've ever seen one before. These animals have a big job. They help plants to grow in the rainforest. So you're gonna read this weekly reader. You can also use the link that was provided on the sheet last week to log into the weekly reader portal and you can watch it. There's videos and online if you'd like, okay? You're going to read this and then you're going to complete the back about a diagram of the taper, okay? All right, I hope you have a good week learning about frogs. I hope you're interested. Now, I'm not gonna tell you to go out and try to catch a frog, unless your parents say you can. Let me know what happens. Bye.